So a few people have asked me about how to compile Moses uh, with Eclipse rather than the BJAM command line. Uh, so this uh, video is um, uh, will show you how to do that. The first thing to know about the Eclipse build, however, is that it's only meant for development and debugging. So the uh, it's only set up for uh, the debug build rather than the release build. If you want to run it, um, if you want to run Moses fast, then you should still use the BGM compile method. The other thing about the Eclipse build is that it's much less flexible uh, than the BGM build. So you have to compile it with a certain number of uh, external um, libraries that's, that have been set up. So the external libraries that you have to use with BGM, with this Eclipse build rather, is are these. SRI, RANLM, ERSLM, DALM, and Boost. So you must compile your SRI separately and then soft link it into the, the root of the of Moses directory, like so. Similarly, with RANLM, you have to compile it separately and soft link it into the root of the Moses directory. Same with SLM, DALM, and Boost. Once you've done that, you can start Eclipse. So the Eclipse project has been set up for Eclipse Kepler, which uh, as of July 2014 is the latest Eclipse uh, version. I don't know whether it runs on earlier or later version, I haven't tested it. So when you run Eclipse, it asks you to where you should um, store the workspace. So for Moses, it must be under the, mo the root Moses directory contrib other builds. It can't be under any other directory. <clears throat> so just opening up Eclipse now. So when you open up Eclipse for the first time, uh, your project explorer will have nothing in it. It will be in there. So the, what, the first thing we should do is actually to import the projects. So right hand click, import existing projects so we're going to import all our projects into this workspace so our projects have been set up and they've been un and they are under contribs other builds these are all the projects that have been set up import them all Once you've imported it, they're ready to compile. So all you have to do to compile it is projects build all. This will take between five and 20 minutes, depending on the number of cores you have on your system. So <clears throat> these projects are just to compile the decoder but uh, but they compile most of the C++ programs in the training as well. So for instance, uh, Consolidate is part of training. Extract extracts um, uh, phrase-based uh, rules. Extract GHKM, mix syntax and rules. Extract these things are used to extract uh, syntax rules, extractor and mert are used during tuning, score 
is used during uh, training and um, LM Moses Moses chart Moses command and on this PT I use by the decoder so once it's finished uh, you can um, debug the the commands as normal so if you want to debug Moses command go to run debug configuration C++ application add a debug configuration so f make sure this is fill out projects and C++ application add any command uh, program arguments you want and debug now you have a perfectly good debugger that you can step through add breakpoints watch variables and so on if you've created a new uh, some new uh, functionality and you want to add it to uh, Moses then uh, that's very easy but it's not automatic so say you've created a new feature function so we're going to create quickly create a new feature function now by just making a copy of an existing feature function so we have to go Moses feature function and we're just going to make copy uh, the skeleton feature function <coughs> state this so that's our new feature function called new ff now if we want to include it in in the eclipse build we have to right hand click on where we want to the folder we want to do it to import it in import file system say where it is so in this case it's under Moses FF and it's called new FF select them both now this is very important you have to go into advance and click create links in workspace that makes sure that these are just refer that the new feature functions are just referred to they're not actually copied into the project folder finish now your feature functions the new feature functions are listed under the Eclipse build and now we have to change the, the names of these feature functions and so on but that's essentially how you import a new file into the Eclipse build. Thank you for listening. If you have any problems, please uh, contact me on the Moses mailing list. Thank you.